Hello. And I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. And today's question comes from Mr. Reeve, although the sentiment he expresses is one I've heard quite a bit, uh, much uh, before my timely demise, and even more so afterward. He wants to know, rather plainly, what is my source of inspiration? What are the fonts of my genius, as he puts it? And, unfortunately, as I've expressed before, there is no simple answer. Ideas are like creatures swimming in some brackish tidal pool. Most should never see the light of day, and those that manage to wriggle their way out often are crushed before they have the chance to be seen. And the few who do survive, well, they are rare things indeed. And to discover where they come from, well, it's, it's rather like dissecting a unicorn. It might be fun, but in the end, what have you achieved? No. We've taken so much stimuli. We're, we're like sponges or, or sieves sifting through the universe, picking out little granules that rub themselves and irritate some part of our mind until they are produced, oyster-like, uh, a pearl of some value, oftentimes not much indeed. And I think it's a rather good thing that it's difficult to pinpoint just precisely where brilliance comes from. Why, if it were easy, it would become as common as empty clamshells. There simply would be no point. Beauty requires a certain amount of mystery and scarcity. But because I hate to leave you empty-handed, or perhaps because you're more clever than I give you credit, I shall read from you one of my works, and you can Decide for yourself where the source of creativity lies. Uh, hopefully, you will find it in yourself much more easily uh, than you will try to attempt in me. There is in certain ancient things a trace of some dim essence more than form or weight, a tenuous aether indeterminate, yet linked with all the laws of time and space a faint veiled sign of continuities that outward eyes can never quite descry, of locked dimensions harboring years gone by, and out of reach except for hidden keys. It moves me most when slanting sunbeams glow on old farm buildings set against a hill, and paint with life the shapes which linger still from centuries less a dream than this we know. In that strange light, I feel I am not far from the fixed mass whose sides the ages are. As always, I am Howard Phillips Lovecraft.